You mean to like throw, like send your leg through? That's how much force. <laughs> yeah, you, you literally, you went through cock first. <laughs> That's all I do with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's, Dan's made light work of getting this wall down. Anna's gonna have a good day. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Is that good? I don't know. Do you like that? Do you like that? <laughs> What day? Smashing shit. Yeah. Uh, when you turn the power off. You did turn the power off, right? <laughs> did you turn the power off? <laughs> Put the heat on, will you, mate? Nice. <laughs> a shit ton of progress so like the absolute rubbish room that was here has now gone um, as you've probably seen through the hundreds of time lapses I'm about to put up um, and then yeah now we've knocked through into the bathroom and we've got what it feels like a, a massive room so it's, it's pretty cool now um, it felt a little just bit weird didn't it it was just yeah and kind of the attitude we've got at the moment is we've been knocking down some walls why stop there hey so next wall to come down is the wall that sort of bridges the main bedroom into this half of the apartment I mean, man, I was just joking. and <laughs> yeah well i've already put a crowbar through it so <laughs> it's going down thinking like this is going to be the best way um you know to establish what we've got and just so we're not sort of constricted with the design by a wall, basically. I mean, Anna doesn't know anything about it yet, but <laughs> I'm sure she'll be alright with it, won't she? Like, under no circumstances. <laughs> Do we take this? Do we take wall this down? wall down? Yeah. Yeah, big sand. Come on. Yeah, come. On. What? Do it now. Do it now, live on camera. That's it settled. The walls, the walls are coming down. Reuse that. Oh, let's get let's get it from the other side. <laughs> so yeah, I mean we haven't made much progress. Now it's just getting supplies. Oh, Hoover! Stolen the Hoover. Oh, stolen. Okay, I was gonna say. We will bring it back. Mega. Yeah, it's been pretty difficult, to be fair. Oh. Bathroom. Yeah, bathroom looks sick. It's much looking much bigger. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Uh, My bedroom. 
I mean, like Dan literally just fell back in the. You've height. literally you've knocked down the the entire bit apart everything apart from the bit that we wanted knocked down. Yeah, that's because the washing machine's in the way. Yeah, we couldn't <laughs> quite get it. We couldn't quite get it. Oh my god! Imagine if this was in our bedroom. My bedroom. Mm. It is now. It is now. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a lot of scope now. Oh my life. We've got a serious amount of scope. Free house. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> and we have Johnny Moss in the house from Mossy Electrical Services. Good. There he is. Hello all. My name's Johnny. <laughs> and I run I'm and I'm an electrician. <laughs> Today I will be fixing Matt's fuck ups. No, so what with Johnny, yeah, Johnny from Mossy Electric Services is basically what is going to, he's going to help us plan and wire in all the, um, all the circuits we've got. New distribution panel somewhere. I'm now standing in, uh, once was, what once was the little shitty random room that had kind of no purpose at all other than just to take up space. So now we've opened that up. We have a serious amount of space. We can wonder what the hell to do with. Um, yeah, no ideas yet, but again, we'll just kind of work through the bill. We'll get all the bases done, knock all the walls we don't need down, and then crack on from there. So yeah, Anna's been getting on organising all like, the rubbish, getting that down. We made, me and Paul made a massive uh, effort clearing this room last night. As you can see, that was piled to the brim for the crap that's now in the garage. And uh, yeah, it's kind of just like moving rubble from one way to another. Um, logistically, it's a massive fact. Right, so we're all a bit fed up of lugging rubbish down the stairs. We've done it a couple of times and so this is the next step. A big winch, an arm, um, some sort of acro prop set up from there to there and yeah then it's kind of sort of I mean, not rubble bags as full as that, but rubble bags as full as that, we should be able to get down relatively quickly to be exact. Um, I think something like 10 meters a minute. So, that's the plan. Not sure if it'll work or not, but we're gonna get that rigged up and uh, hopefully clear rubbish much quicker and get stuff up much quicker. Right, so while those guys get on with clearing the uh, room over that side, I'm going to get on with seeing what I can do about mounting this winch to what we've got here. So this window's got to come out anyway, it's being replaced as well as these oak little stanchions here. So the way we're going to mount it is using, obviously these arms are designed for scaffold tubes, so we're going to have one upright connected to this joist and then triangled off of a, braced off a few other joists over that side. So one up, one down, and then we're also gonna incorporate the joists and the beam going further down the pitched roof. We're just gonna spread the load, we're just gonna over-engineer the shaft out a bit. You know, we haven't done any load calculations for it, we are just purely basing it off um, the ratings of each individual equipment and the fact that we're not gonna put any more than 100 kg of uh, rubble down it. So, um, cone off the bottom, make sure no one goes underneath it, obviously. Safety first, wear a hard hat. Um, I might even bring the, uh, might even bring some harness equipment up here just so obviously when we're near the edge, this is gonna be, you know, fully, this isn't gonna be fully, not there and fully open, so we don't want anyone falling over the edge. Um, I reckon we gotta be somewhat quite sensible about it. Let's uh, 
let's see what we can do. It'll probably take a few trips back and forth to the workshop to fabricate some stuff up. Um, but other than that, let's see how We've just come back to the workshop. I say we. I've just come back to the workshop just to fab up the main upright for the um, hoist. So yeah, it's just literally just welding on a couple of spreader plates, brackets onto the uh, main upright, the scaffold tubing. Um, yeah, it's about half, yeah, there you go, I can tell the time. Half 11 at night. Um, hopefully we won't spend too long doing it. Cause yeah, I do that, I'd like to get back sometime today. Oh yeah, that's probably not gonna happen, is it? Let's be honest. So that's the three mil sheet that I'm just going to use it as a foot plate. Um, again, that's just more to stop the bottom of it slipping out rather than um, any sort of spreading load or anything like that. Just to keep it in place, there's essentially a good set of masonry screws, screws. Set of masonry screws down through the brick wall should keep us somewhat happy. To continue on from uh, last night's video, we've got the prop all fabricated now, um, and yeah, we're just basically now looking at uh, incorporating all these joists, um, getting a bit of uh, getting triangulation on, and uh, yeah, drilling through into the masonry below to support the foot plate. Um, we're kind of in a position where we'll get this one on. Um, we'll probably set up a little. Um, I think we'll get harnessed up, like just for full health and safety, um, and then yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get rid of it. Obviously the main arm support, that goes in, bolted straight through the prop and then through threaded rod all the way to there. Then we've got an additional spreader plate down the back here that I fabbed up last night. I made it too short as you can see but that's just really to stop the, the prop rotating like that. So then, yeah, then then it's bolted through into the brickwork beneath, and then yeah, main support arm 
there. And then again, there was a little bit of flex in the prop when it was loaded. So we just put a little support rod there. Again, obviously it's not gonna be great under compression, but it's mostly good for tensile strength. Um, so yeah, see how she goes. Got the harness set up. So ready to uh, ready to take a window out, aren't we? Uh -huh. One down. <laughs> This window frame is nice to screw this. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going down. Down. <laughs> oh! Have you got it, Rabbi? Uh, I've got it. Got it. Oh, yeah! Taking the stairs. <laughs> She's meant mate. <laughs> She's meant mate. Get your ears back in. Get my ears back in. Look cool on the camera. She's working pretty well. Everything's uh, getting loaded up as it should. No creaking, no cracking. It's all uh, exactly how I designed it. Um, so where are we at, Anna? Today? Yeah, yeah, today. Um, in, in life. Knocking down the wall of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. oh, we've got the bogey. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, let's have a look. Nice. Talking a success. Yeah. Let's have a look. See what. Show the viewers at home. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so, um, I mean, we really haven't got many walls left to go in terms of, I mean, even like, even like the mess isn't too bad either, either is it? No. Again, we're pretty good, pretty good at cleaning up that shit now. Mm, all going bags. All going bags, yeah. Um, so yeah, a couple more pictures, window sill, that chimney stack there, that cupboard, that wall is staying. Same as that one, and then the main kind of walk-in island, Ireland, I, Island, Ireland. That's 
as I'm saying it again. <laughs> the main island is staying also. So um, yeah, we're we're kind of. I don't think it is. Sorry, the main island is going. <laughs> and the main island is going. Of course it is. Obviously, <laughs> we've documented loads of plans. So yeah, it's looking good. Looking wide and open and loads of space. Loads of space, space. Loads of void. So obviously we've um, we've got loads of storage space what we can utilize through there. Um, like washing machine in that void space, obviously which we didn't have, you know, they're big bulky items in an, an apartment that's, you know, relatively on the small side. It will make a hell of a difference. Um, so yeah, to continue, get these walls, get these walls down, chimney brickwork somewhat back. I was going to get on the old bolster and hammer and start like busting shit out. Um, that cupboard wardrobe and then yeah, then sort of do some more, um, do some more rubbish runs. Mm -hmm.